Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Monday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Harris, and today in studio, all the way from like a few blocks away. A few blocks. <laughs> <laughs> we have Eric and Angelica with my favorite muffin, and today is National Muffin Day. Look at the word nation here, actually. Help, help years in the planning. <laughs> yes, yeah, so get that going. We got really lucky with that. Uh, who's going to give me a little history of you guys? I can start, I guess. Um, my partner and I, Mark Rank, 1995, opened the first My Favorite Muffin in Colorado. Um, that was Arapahoe and Peoria. We opened the Dry Creek store a year later. So we were really the first to kind of go all in on the, on the bagels and sandwiches and stuff like that. The guy we started with, he started in mid-90s. Um, he did like muffins in like airports and shopping malls and stuff like that. So we were the first to kind of do a cafe sort of setting. So we've been at it a long time. Angelica's in the process of buying the Dry Creek store. Oh. So she's been an employee for... 18 years. Yeah, a long years. time. Wow. <laughs> so we've been at it a long time, and it's really been great. We've had a phenomenal group of employees and customers over the years, and we've, we've survived through COVID and about everything else. So uh, it's certainly some Tell people where the two locations exactly are. Uh, 8719 East Dry Creek Road, which is Dry Creek in Yosemite, and 12201 Arapaho Road and Peoria. So okay. over by both of them in the tech center. And, the con and what's the concept? Uh, you know, casual, obviously. Muffins are what we're kind of known for. Um, eight or ten varieties of minis every day, 30 or 40 varieties of big muffins. And we kind of rotate that out a little bit. We do breakfast sandwiches, bagels, of course, um, lunch sandwiches. She can kind of give you some detail on some of that stuff. What do you have there? Like over here, we have our mini muffins. Which I'm going to throw this over on the close-up so they can get a good shot. So those are our mini muffins, and uh, we also have our um, large muffins, of course. <laughs> when I I drive by it every single day when I come to work, and I'm like, don't, don't, <laughs> like, oh, you know, because when you're craving just a, you know, something sweet, this is just the perfect one biter, you know. Yes. But then you can't just buy one because they're so small. You're like, oh, I could have two or three. Well, That's equal to like not even a whole muffin. 28 years, I still have one or two of the uh, chocolate chip minis every day. Yeah, she, yeah that's, that's a good so. one. That's a good uh, one. Describe some of the flavors that are in here. So we have some uh, cinnamon crumb. The ones with the flour. And then we that's cinnamon crumb? Yep. Yes. Okay, and what's that guy? That is a chocolate chip. Okay. And the chocolate chip too. And then on the bottom we What's have this? some uh, blueberry chocolate cheese. Oh, that's the chocolate cheese, cheese cake. cake. Yes, that's yeah, my favorite that's my favorite. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's my favorite. That's, that's a good one. Okay, so a blueberry, yeah. yeah. Funfetti. Uh -huh. Funfetti. And then lemon with the powdered sugar on the top. And that's pretty much. Looks like it. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, Cinnamon that's the cheese. Apple oh, apple pie. pie. Yes. Come on, apple yeah, pie. Like Look at that cute yes. little <laughs> apple pie mini muffin. Yeah, it's like. Probably like only has five calories in it. They're yeah. so small. <laughs> That's right. And then the big ones over here? Yeah, those we have the banana nut. Okay. We have the cherry cheesecake, poppy seed, and chocolate chip. Is that chocolate chip or Boston cream? That's it's a chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. Yes. <laughs> you can argue with her? Well, we have a Boston <laughs> cream too, I knew. Yeah, it's so. on this spot. Okay, yeah. now let's get on to the bagel sandwiches, which oddly enough, I have not had your bagels. Do you make them in house? Yep. Yes. Nice. We do everything in house. So we have some uh, BLT, uh, ham and cheese, uh, classic turkey, roast beef, and we also have the uh, breakfast sandwiches on this side. And then over here, same? Or any, some, the, oh, these are, the are breakfast. breakfast. Yes. So this was lunch, this was, was breakfast. Lunch, yes. Okay, and... Uh, so we have like a southern tradition with ham egg and cheese, morning classic, which is just egg and cheese, BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and then... Uh, uh, sunrise. American Sunrise. Uh -huh. It's uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Fresh cracked egg. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I assume catering's got to be a big thing. Yeah, we've always done a lot of that. Um, you know, with the advent of, of DoorDash and all that, that sort of changed a little bit. But we've always really pushed the catering. Um, we deliver anywhere. Uh, we do... Wait, wait, a combination. We deliver anywhere. Pretty much anywhere. New York? For a price. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll go anywhere for, for the right Wait, price. <laughs> we do. We have one next week, uh, you know, 18 miles away or something up in 
Boulder, and we've done some of that. So we generally it's in the tech center, but but we'll go about anywhere. And for people who want to order for like their offices, muffins, bagels, how do they do that? A couple different ways. You can go to muffincafe.com. Um, call us up, certainly, uh, any either one of the stores. Um, you know, and we're happy to do any of it. Okay. Open seven days? Yep. All stores? S six to two, Monday through Friday, seven to two on the weekends. Do you do, uh, so you said you do uh, DoorDash, you do order ahead? Like, can people order on your website? Yeah, you can do that on the website. That goes through Menufy. So we do, uh, through the website is Menufy. And I think they're actually using maybe DoorDash to deliver it. You never know. But we do DoorDash, Uber Eats, Fuda. Um, a uh, couple more. <laughs> Whatever there is, you yeah. know. <laughs> or pretty much. So, Angelica, when are you going to own the store? Hopefully at the end of this year. Okay. I'm in the process, and I'm really happy about it, and I feel lucky. I love the muffins. I love the, to bake them and everything. Just it's, it's my life, you know. What time do you get to the store? I usually get there like 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. So look at their faces. <laughs> <laughs> They're both like, no. Well, the baker no. gets there like 2 or 3 in the morning. Right. So. Wow. But she's also off early. That's the beauty of that. Yeah, if you can be a morning person and you're two, done at so 2, you're, yes. you, you, know, okay, you so kind of have part of the day. Wait, wait, wait. So if you get there at 2 in the morning, what time do you go to bed? I mean, I don't know. Uh, those guys, <laughs> they're, they're their own breed. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Give me your website again. Muffincafe.com is the easiest to use. And if you have not tried these muffins, I promise you, I'm a snob when it comes to, to these, and they're spectacular. But uh, I'm going to have lunch first before I have my dessert. Should I go, uh, actually, I haven't tried your eggs yet. Let's go for this guy. That looks, oh, it's still warm. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you two. Thank you nice so much for coming on. We really appreciate you having us. A, I'm telling you, these guys are amazing. We'll be back for another episode of What's for Lunch tomorrow. And in the near future, we're going to have a new addition to the team. We're going to have start doing the What's for Lunch. Tyler back there. Show Tyler. Turn around. Show Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's going to be doing the What's for Lunch uh, Thursday, Friday, and Monday because I'm going to be out of town for my father-in-law's 80th birthday. Let's eat. Mmm. Yeah, baby. Oh, my good job. <laughs> oh, really good. That's for sure.